Hi everybody, and welcome to my dorm room, because I got nowhere else to shoot. Today we're going to be talking about the easiest way, in my opinion, to scan 35mm negatives. And it all starts with a little lens. This bad boy. This is called a slide copier, and it does exactly what you think it does. It copies slides onto your camera, your, your negative or your digital camera. So the basic principle is you take one of these, you attach it to your camera. This is a dummy camera. It doesn't work anymore. It has three adapters. T2 to M42, M42 to Canon EOS, and then Canon to Sony. So it's it puts the turd in triple adapted. Yeah. That was a good one. That was my funniest joke. So the original purpose of this lens was back in the film days, you'd attach this to your 35mm SLR, and you would put your own slides in front of it with a special holder, like so. Here's a slide. You put that in front, there'd be a little holder on the front, and you'd take a picture of it with a bright background behind it, and you'd go with the whole roll, and you'd get that developed, and you can make prints out of it, because you can't natively make prints out of slides, at least not easily or cheaply. And I've done some digging online, and I haven't really seen anybody use these for scanning negatives, so I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised at what these things can do. So let's go to the scanning room, and we're going to figure that all out. Alright, welcome to the scanning room. And by scanning room, I mean the common room of my dormitory. For this project, you'll need only a few things. For starters, you'll need a light table, very cheap. A scanning mask for a scanner, these are also very cheap. And your camera with your zoom duplicator, your slide duplicator. And your film. So what you want to do first is put your film on the slide holder, or the film holder. Put the top on. Now you want to make sure your zoom duplicator, your slide duplicator is zoomed out all the way if it has a zoom. And all you do, turn your camera on, point it at the picture, and you take a picture of it. That's it. Now these things have a very tight aperture of f32, 22 something, it doesn't actually say, but it's very slow so you'll have to either slow down your shutter or raise the ISO, probably slow down the shutter so you don't get noise from the ISO being gained up all the way. Also, make sure you have a blower to get rid of any dust that may occur on the film or on the... Uh, the light table thing. You know what I'm talking about. So once you're done taking the picture, simply put it on your computer like you would for any other camera scanning technique. Put it into Lightroom or your favorite photo editing program. I personally use the plugin uh, Negative Lab Pro to, s to process all of the negatives. They all turn out great. It's a hundred bucks, but I think it's worth it, especially if you process a lot at a time. This is actually a very good option for you if you want to have high quality scans because it will be up to and even better in quality than a V600 scanner. Then again, it all depends on the resolution and the quality of the images that come from your camera. So if you have a 22 megapixel camera, you take a picture, it'll be around 20, 18 megapixels big when you crop it in because there is a border around the negatives. Speaking of which, there are a few caveats to using this. First and foremost, first and foremost, this is a one-to-one -one duplicator, so you cannot use an APS-C censored camera to scan full-frame negatives, and you can't use a full-frame camera to scan medium format or larger negatives. 
So if you want to scan 35 millimeter film, you have to have a full frame sensor which covers the same amount of area as 35 millimeter film. Otherwise, you're gonna get a cropped in picture the same size as your sensor is. So if you plan on using an APS-C size camera, you can still do this, you just won't be able to use full frame negatives. You could do it with uh, APS film or 110 film. 110 film is still available from Lomography. So if you want to do that, perfectly up to you. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, so final thoughts? Do it. If you can find one of these camera slide duplicators, do it. You can probably find them on eBay for pretty cheap. You can also find them at thrift stores. That's where I got mine. MCC Winkler Rep. So if you can pick one up for cheap, get it. It'll be worth it. Good luck to y'all. You'll need it.